What's going on guys? Welcome back to Black Tide TV, bringing you the best of Call of Duty Black Ops 3 content Monday to Friday. Today we have two videos coming out for you because I missed my upload yesterday, but we are going to be doing some really cool stuff. So the first video that you're seeing here, we're looking at our first two multiplayer challenge reticles. So these are two very special reticles that you have to get the Oscar reticle to unlock, and then you have to do these special challenges to unlock them. So this is going to be a whole new wave of first look reticles for the time being. We have two on the reflex, and then we've gonna go, we're gonna go through two at a time through recon, Varix three, and thermal, and then we're gonna come back and do the last two on reflex, and then go through them all again before we get into some of the other crazy reticles in this game like campaign and zombies. So we are doing some pretty different things with first look reticles at this point. Instead of doing uh, two clips with only some mediocre gameplays, I'm instead going to be getting some, some gameplays where it's going to be three plus kills or the minimum, and uh, you're going to see three clips of each weapon. Now, I am going to start accepting some fan submitted first look reticles. If you guys have any special reticles from the black market or any extras reticles that you think I don't have, definitely let me know on Twitter at BlackTideTV, but without further ado, uh, let's get started. So the first reticle that you're seeing is the floppy reticle. The floppy reticle requires you to get 500 kills with a reflex sight to unlock the Oscar reticle first, and then you're going to have to do a special challenge with the floppy. It's going to be 25 headshots while aiming down sights with the reflex. So this one's not too hard. You're probably going to get your 25 headshots pretty well pretty quickly it's going to be it's going to be pretty simple these reticles like all the challenges and stuff do not actually count up as you're getting your 500 kills so you're gonna have to get like 600 kills to get these 25 headshots unless you have like perfect aim you're probably not going to get 25 headshots in a row but what i could recommend to you to you for getting these 25 headshots is to definitely use assault rifles definitely use some of the more accurate weapons in the game icr would be probably your best bet icr1 maybe the m8a7 uh, another great option would be the shiva or the mx garand any of those weapons put high caliber on it because high caliber is going to make your your headshots do a lot more damage and you're gonna get like one less shot to kill on the head making headshots just a lot easier to get you're gonna have the best time getting these reticle getting this reticle the floppy reticle with assault rifles using high caliber you could use pistols and try to use high caliber as well but it's not gonna work as well now the floppy reticle is very cool I like the look of it it looks like a floppy disk it reminds me the colors of it remind me of Guardians of the Galaxy that that awesome Marvel movie that everybody thought was was going to be a flop and it came out and it was absolutely amazing it was super colorful and bright and it kind of just reminds me of like the colors of the milano like the ship that uh that the guardians of the galaxy fly around in so it's just a really cool it's kind of retro looking and it's really awesome it's got black ops 3 written as the title of your floppy disc i think it's really cool it's not very practical not none of these final four radicals that we're going to be seeing uh for each for each uh for each Oh my god, what am I trying to say here? None of the final four reticles for each of these optics are going to be practical. They're all mostly just aesthetics. They're just to look really cool. They're just to show off. You put them on your gun and then you get an awesome kill cam. And everybody goes like, oh my god, look at that awesome reticle. I wish I had that. So that's what these final four reticles are all about. They're not going to be, there's not going to be a lot of them that are going to be very practical. Except for one that I'm thinking of off the top of my head for thermal sight is just absolutely amazing. It's like one of the best reticles in the the game but we'll get there when we get there for now let's go into the fungal reticle which again you're going to have to get your 500 kills and unlock the oscar reticle to unlock and then you're going to have to get two rapid kills five times while aiming down the sights with the reflex so basically what you have to do is stay aimed down sights with your reflex sight and get a double kill five times it's not that difficult i recommend that you use something that can fire very very quickly maybe like an lmg like the brm or and and just camp it out in the corner kind of lock down an area look at a door and just fire at that door or something get into some kind of area where you can overlook an objective that's going to be your best bet for getting double kills anyways is just to play objective based game modes get into somewhere where you know there's going to be lots of enemies and just hose them down so you're going to look looking at like an lmg like maybe the brm maybe the dingo or you could go with the other route and just use an smg except you got to remember that you have to be stayed you have to stay aiming down your sights while you get this double kill you can't unaim and then get the and you can't kill the one guy unaim and then kill another guy and get a double kill you have to stay you have to stay aimed down sights so that's the only difficult part of getting this reticle is that 
you can't zoom in and out. So if you're using an SMG, you can't be doing like that rushing thing where you uh, where you aim really quick, shoot at a guy, unaim, and then aim at the next guy. You just gotta aim quick, shoot the first guy, and slide your reticle or slide your optic over to the next guy and fire at him. So this one's mostly trial and error. You're eventually going to run into two enemies at once, and then you'll just find that this reticle is going to be pretty easy to get. So uh, it's it's an all right reticle again. This one is actually a little bit more practical than the floppy reticle because it it's it doesn't actually make a lot of sense if I'm looking at this reticle being le le legit just looking at this reticle right now it doesn't make a lot of sense there is these kind of squid tentacles coming up from the bottom and that's really cool and you're like yeah that's awesome but they don't even have anything to do with the reticle there's these squid tentacles but then there's just an orange dot that floats above them maybe it's the sun I don't know but you would think that the dot would be at the top of the middle tentacle or something, but it's not. It's just like tentacles with a dot floating above them. So it doesn't make a lot of sense. It does make it for a more practical reticle. It's pretty easy to use, except in, in case, I mean, unless you're in some kind of dark area and there's some kind of enemy that's on like prone in front of you and you can't really see them through the tentacles. I don't know. It's a pretty practical reticle, but again, it's all these last four reticles for each of these optics are mostly just for aesthetics, just for putting on and saying, yeah, I got this reticle in your face. So that's the fungal reticle and the floppy reticle. Which one of these two reticles did you enjoy the most? Let me know in the comment section down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. And let me know, guys, on my Twitter at BlackTideTV if you have any first look reticles that you would like to submit. I'm looking for black market reticles, the special ones, not the colorations. I've already I've already covered those. I'm not going to recover colorations of reticles. I would like to see some of the cooler, different types of reticles, the rare reticles that you can get from the black market. Those are going to be really hard to find. Message me on Twitter if you have any of those or if you have any extras reticles that you got from buying some certain version of the game like the hardened edition or whatever. Let me know on Twitter or let me know in the comment section of this video. I'll give you guys the rundown of what I'm expecting to see in those kind of Phantom Mid Eclipse when we, when maybe in the next video or something, maybe in the next First Look Reticles video. I'll just tell you guys what I'm expecting to see from those. Without further ado, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe so you can get the second video of the day. And I'll see you guys then. Have a good one.